this is my presentation on Huntington's disease. And before I get started, I just want to say I lost my father to this disease when I was seven years old. And from the age seven to 12, I'm still fighting every day for the people that are losing their lives to this disease, have lost their life to this disease, or someone witnessing someone losing their life to this disease. Are you aware you can be an advocate for HD at any age? Did you know that Huntington's disease really sucks? Are you aware that you can join a Huntington's disease support group? More importantly, are you aware that by joining a Huntington's disease support group, there is no expectation for you to share or disclose anything that you do not want to? Some people join the support group simply to listen in, and that's absolutely okay. If you are someone who prefers to share, there's also a place for you in the support groups. Sometimes we just need to share things in a safe space, and others can learn from our lived-in experiences. So whether you prefer to share or you prefer to listen, a support group is exactly that, supporting all of us in our own unique way. If you would like more information, please reach out to me at jamie, J-A-M-I-E, at helpforhd.org, and I would be happy to connect you. Are you aware that Huntington's disease causes grief way before diagnosis? When we talk about grief, we say that grief happens upon diagnosis of an illness. In Huntington's disease, that isn't true. People deal with grief from the time they're children. They have to watch their parent live with Huntington's, their grandparent, their aunts, their uncles, their cousins. So grief is a part of HD or HD journey from the second you learn about HD, which often in our space in our community you learn about hd when you're a small child are you aware that having jhd i am affecting my speech it affected your speech I can no longer sing. You can no longer sing, but... You are... I am a J.H.D. warrior. You sure are. 